haven't been working on this for a few days, but uh, I was thinking, uh, I tried a few things, um, and uh, I want to uh, add some um, paper, um, some uh, images from magazines. Um, my uh, my idea was um, to bring s together some images um, and then connect them uh, in a way that they are they should be uh, like pockets uh, in the spread. So. Um, I'm adding, I'm adding these uh, uh, images um, in a way um, that bring in colors that uh, uh, already exist here um, and some texture. It's not texture. It's um, movement lines uh, this this um, shape uh, and the fact that it is water gives some kind of movement here you'll see afterwards that uh, I will um, add colors I will paint um, around here with uh, with the same movement that uh, uh, we have here. Movement, it means curves, it means uh, uh, to give the feeling that this is uh, water that is uh, um, not running but moving, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, it's my allergies. Okay, this, this is a piece uh, that was connected like like this but I want to use it like that because we have the pink here this goes nicely with with the color and the tones of here and here um, I had another scrap okay this one uh, uh, is from a photo of uh, uh, ocean uh, in the sunset. Uh, this is also nice because of the color, and I want I wanted to bring in uh, something that will help me play with the horizon line. Uh, I like and uh, doing some. Uh, um, horizon line in almost all my spreads they don't it doesn't have to be straight it can be curvy but um, I like it I like doing this uh, separation this this will able me um, to let in um, details that are in a different focus because this focus is you see something from far away this is too <clears throat> this is closer closer this is uh, also almost the same uh, distance like this no this is this is closer this is uh, this is by the way I've been here it's a beautiful place an old house in um, Nestiona, which is one of the first uh, cities here. Um, beautiful house, it is here. I just cut, cut out the, the building itself. So, this is my idea. Now I will glue it and I will, uh, the next uh, thing to do is to uh, connect everything with, with um, um, areas of color 
that will, I will paint the same uh, in a similar way like I did I did here. So it's uh, uh, curvy lines, uh, something that uh, reminds uh, something that flows. Okay, let's glue it. I hope I will find my my uh, my tools because I haven't been here for a few days and I haven't uh, I haven't made any uh, order. I haven't put uh, things back to place, so <laughs> this might be a bit of uh, looking around for things. Sometimes it's, it's hard for me to explain an idea uh, because even though that my English is uh, quite good, uh, more than before, uh, in Hebrew, uh, some, um, some sentences being said uh, opposite than in English. For example, if I want to say uh, pink flowers, in Hebrew, you say the words like flowers pink. So sometimes um, the order of words that come into my head is opposite than in English. So I will say, uh, I will be stuck with the different order of words and I will, it will, hard, it will be hard for me to, uh, uh, to um, be able to correct the uh, full sentences <laughs> uh, because uh, part of my brain is uh, being used to um, uh, for the for the work itself okay The moment I found this image and I, I put it here, everything started being, uh, I knew what I wanted to do. This was the piece that I, um, that uh, uh, led the, uh, the way I'm um, moving forward with this uh, spread. Also, I like the, uh, the feeling that uh, this is behind, this is in front, this is behind. This is in front of this, if you see, because it's bigger. Um, creating a few dimensions uh, um, bring a lot of interest into, um, into a spread. Also, also this this color that I've been doing before is quite similar to this one. So maybe I'll use it uh, to make some kind of uh, flowy connection. Uh, even that we have. Um, the green area here, it, it's uh, bush, yes, bushes, bush. It's not trees, uh, it's smaller, maybe trees. Here is, it's, uh, I think maybe this, these, these are trees and these are trees. They look like something that uh, 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 the color combination is uh, uh, nice on the eyes. Um, it's like the, the the background, the base is uh, is is 
quite good uh, for developing something interesting. start with um, establishing some uh, movement on the lower part uh, and I will bring um, I want to um, look for a blue that is similar to this I said I haven't made um, I think I might uh, Okay, let's uh, start and uh, make a color Oh, here it is This is this one I, I was looking for But uh, I will apply some uh, some other colors on this sheet.
part of the background. Um, I like how it looks here. I like how it looks here. Um, I still uh, am not uh, completely satisfied with this green area. Um, I can add uh, art marks or other things to make it um, make it feel different. Uh, now I need to uh, let it dry. Watch, uh, watch it for. Uh, for some time and decide what to do next. Um, I was thinking of uh, a certain look. It, it didn't turn out like I was thinking, but I like the overall uh, movements, uh, the overall uh, uh, areas of paint that I can uh, play with. Uh, next step would be, would be um, uh, other kind of connections uh, between the images, between the area, the areas of uh, paint. Okay, bye now guys.